something has awakened in the oldest corners of the universe. A strange light. A presence so dense. So radiant. So profoundly alien that it has shaken the very foundation of modern cosmology. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward the edge of time, it wasn't just looking for stars or galaxies. It was looking for our origins, and instead, it found something. That shouldn't exist. In the deep silence of space, faint crimson glows began to appear. Tiny, scattered embers lighting up the darkness, not stars, not galaxies as we know them, but something else. At first, Astronomers dismissed them as data errors, small imperfections in web-sensitive instruments. But these glitches refused to vanish. They appeared again and again, across different regions of the sky, in different observations, with the same haunting red hue. When the data was finally verified, the world of astronomy froze. These faint red dots weren't illusions. They were real and they existed at a time when the universe was barely 600 million years old. That's just a blink after the Big Bang. How could such objects, so bright, so compact, so powerful, exist so early? It was as if the universe had skipped a few billion years of evolution. Each of these red dots was incredibly small, only about 1% the size of the Milky Way. Yet they shone with the brilliance of galaxies thousands of times larger. Something about them was off the charts. When scientists analyzed their spectra, they realized something unbelievable, these dots weren't red because of cosmic expansion, they were red because they were wrapped in thick cocoons of dust. Dust so dense that it absorbed all their wavelengths of light, leaving behind only deep crimson radiation. And they weren't rare. Webb found them everywhere. Every deep field image revealed dozens of these glowing red embers as if the early universe was littered with mysterious, short-lived beacons. They appeared suddenly, existed for less than a billion years, and then vanished completely leaving behind nothing but silence. At first, scientists believed they were hyperactive star factories, compact young galaxies bursting with newborn stars but the numbers didn't make sense. Their density was so extreme that by all known laws of physics, they should have torn themselves apart. Gravity should have ripped them open. Stars should have collided and exploded in violent supernovas. Yet, they survived. Some astronomers proposed that these objects were being amplified by dark matter lenses, invisible scaffolds bending light and distorting their true size. But others whispered something far stranger. What if these weren't galaxies at all? What if they were monsters? The new theory spread like wildfire. Perhaps these red dots were not collections of stars but the blazing hearts of supermassive black holes, born impossibly early, feeding ferociously on the surrounding gas. Their light wasn't from starlight. It was from matter spiraling inward heating up to billions of degrees before vanishing into the void. If this were true, it meant something unthinkable that black holes existed before galaxies. We've always believed the cosmic story began with stars, then galaxies, then black holes forming in their cores. But Webb's discoveries hinted at the reverse that black holes came first. And galaxies formed around them. It would mean the entire timeline of creation was wrong. Then came the smoking gun, hidden not in light, but in hydrogen. When astronomers analyzed emission lines from these objects, they found something startling, hydrogen lines were stretched wide, far wider than they should be. In astrophysics, wide lines mean speed. Gas moving at thousands of kilometers per second around something enormous. The only explanation was gravity the kind of gravity only a black hole could produce. In some cases, the gas was moving ten times faster than what we see near the black hole at the center of our Milky Way. No cluster of stars could explain that kind of motion. This was it. The final piece. These red dots weren't galaxies they were cosmic engines, black holes growing at terrifying speed in the first billion years after creation. But there was one problem. 
If these were truly massive black holes, they should have been flooding the cosmos with X-rays the unmistakable signature of feeding monsters. Yet Webb detected none. That silence puzzled scientists. Until they realized the horrifying truth. The X-rays were being smothered. The surrounding gas was so thick, so heavy, that no radiation could escape. The black holes were growing unseen, buried in cosmic fog. The universe was hiding its monsters letting them evolve quietly, invisibly, until they grew large enough to shape galaxies themselves. Perhaps even ours. What Webb uncovered wasn't just an anomaly, it was a missing chapter of the universe's history. A secret era when the cosmos was ruled not by stars, but by gravity itself. An age where light was trapped, devoured, and reborn. A time when the universe wasn't peaceful but chaotic, violent, and alive with creation and destruction. These red dots were not mere curiosities. They were fossils of chaos, remnants of an epoch when the rules of physics were still being written. If these black holes truly came before galaxies, then our entire cosmic timeline, from the birth of stars to the formation of structure, must be rewritten. And then. They were gone. All of them. Hundreds of these red dots vanished from the cosmic record about 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang. Not gradually, instantly. Like sparks extinguished in a storm. Did they evolve into quasars, brilliant hearts of modern galaxies? Whatever happened, they left no trace. No survival.